Hi right, guys, how's it going? This is Zach here, and I'm back with another video tutorial for you. Um, let's see, today I'm going to show you something that was really quite hard for me to find, and um, it is the Pi Crypto AES encryption and decryption. Now, recently I started playing around with this module, which if you did not know already, you have to install it. Um, it is. It does not come pre-installed with Python. I used pip, and uh, pip and easy install are extremely simple to um, to install modules such as Pi Crypto. But uh, you can use whatever method you feel like. Um, so basically, I was looking for some examples of this module of how you use it, and I found a lot of them that didn't work. So. Uh, hopefully this video will be of some help for some of you Python 3 uh, users that would like to learn a simple uh, program for it. So anyway, if you haven't noticed, my voice does sound different. Uh, well, I've, my nose is a little stopped up right now, but uh, besides that, I did get a new mic. Hopefully it is better. I do not know yet. So um, if it does have any faint background noise, just bear with me. So uh, yeah, let's let's get started. So first of all, of course, we want to import something from Pi, from Pi Crypto, but uh, we want to say from Pi Crypto. Oh no, not Pi Crypto. I'm sorry. From Crypto dot Cipher import AES. So we're going to be using AES encryption. Now uh, normally you could you would generate your own key and save it or something like that but um, for the sake of time I'm not going to show that there's plenty of simple uh, methods to do that online so that's that's not the issue so I'm just going to paste my key in here right now and uh, and use it so uh, sorry you have a message we're going to call it I will call it message equals uh, this is my super secret message okay now first of all we're going to have to start a function called pad why uh, what does this pad do it basically gets the length of our message and um, and it adds the amount of curly brackets to the message to make it a uh, evenly divisible the length of it evenly divisible by 16 the reason we have to do this is because AES encryption only takes uh, data with um, length of 16 uh, divisible uh, lengths. So, anyway, so we'll define our function called pad with a one parameter of s, and we're just going to say return s plus uh, 16 minus length of s modulus. Uh, 16 times curly bracket. So basically, what this is going to do is going to get us the number of um, space of the number of characters that we need to make our link divisible by 16, and it's going to multiply that by this curly bracket. So it'll put that many curly brackets onto the end of s. So uh, so it'll give us exactly what we need. Uh, so that's our pad function. It's extremely simple. So now we're going to make an encrypt function. Uh, we'll say encrypt plain text. Alright, now we need to say global... Oh, I almost forgot the key component. Alright, so uh, before we do all this, we need to create a a cipher object from Pi Crypto. So we're going to say cipher equals AES dot new key. So now we have a cipher object that we can decrypt and encrypt things with. Uh, that's really cool. So we're going to say global cipher and uh, and global key. And we're going to now obviously if you want to make this more secure, you would make the key one of your parameters. But I'm not going to do that for the once again for the sake of uh, time. So what we want to do is uh, just simply return. Uh, Cipher dot encrypt plain text. Uh, actually, no, we're not. We're not even going to use the key in this. So we're just going to say cipher dot encrypt plain text. 
and that's you're done with your encryption now we'll do the decrypt function which is a little bit more um, a little bit longer so once again we need the global cipher and we're going to say deck for decrypted or whatever equals uh, cipher dot decrypt cipher text now we we could make this on next line but to make it a tiny bit more pythonic we're going to put it on this one dot decode utf eight not nine eight so uh, what this is going to do is when you decrypt it it's going to give you the bytes version of it so it's going to be like b and then your string and uh... we don't want that so we we have to decode that or whatever in order to uh, later print it to the screen and whatnot so we'll just go ahead and attach that onto the end decode utf8 and now we're going to um, we don't want the curly braces on there that we attached earlier so we're just going to make a quick variable l and it's going to equal deck dot count that so it's going to tell us how many of those we have now we can return deck um, colon uh, length of deck minus l so this is going to return everything up into up until the uh, first curly brace so we're not actually going to get any of the curly braces so now we're going to say print message uh, message all right and now we're going to say print encrypted uh... All right, uh actually i forget we'll say encrypted equals encrypt message decrypted equals decrypt uh, encrypted All right. now we're going to say print encrypted encrypted print decrypted decrypted now if we save this and we run it uh, we get an error good job <laughs> uh, let's see what we did it's always good when I get errors in videos I, sometimes I I would get scared about it but it's actually good I think it shows the uh, the process of saying okay I've got something wrong so anyway uh, let's see it's in the encrypt thing well that's surprising let's see in line uh, 13 <laughs> cipher dot encrypt plain text hmm. okay let's get rid of the uh, oh oh that's why that's why I forgot to use my pad function so just put that in there and now we're on it and you should get message this is my super secret message encrypted and this is going to give your uh, long bytes string uh, encrypted message and then this your decrypted this is my super secret message and uh, that's that's it so it's pretty simple if um if you do want to review the code here uh, here it is you you can uh, view it all right now so that's that and I hope you guys enjoyed that and if you have any questions or concerns or suggestions just uh, just leave those in the comments